Good day, this is Dick Zande, Jung's Garden Doctor. We're going to talk about tulips this morning for all things green. A few things that in general that you want to know about tulips is they do require a dr well-drained soil uh, because they will rot if you don't. If you've got uh, rodents in the area, chipmunks or squirrels, they love tulips so it probably be a good idea to use chicken wire as a barrier over top of the bulbs when you plant them if you're planting them in a mass and uh, they like to have a sunny location especially if you're going to try to perennialize them and get them to come back year after year. Uh, we also recommend that you use a bulb booster type fertilizer something that will give the bulbs some extra nutrients uh, both when you plant them and then next spring when, you, uh, when they start to grow so that they have the nutrients that they need to grow. Uh, once they're done blossoming, it's a good idea to leave, in fact, you have to leave the leaves on until they turn brown. And actually with tulips, they form a, a zone right above the bulb where the leaves will let go of the bulbs once they start to turn brown. If you pull on the leaves and they feel like the bulb is coming with the leaves, leave them a while because they will just ab absolutely come right up in your hands if, you, if, you, if they're ready to uh, be uh, uh, taken away. And then uh, you can plant other annuals and things between them so that uh, they can, you can have flowers all summer long. You know, those tulips are always a welcome sight because you know uh, spring is on its way and uh, the cold weather is done. What I want to do this morning is uh, talk a little bit about the different types of tulips that we uh, sell. Um, there are many different classifications and uh, those tulips uh, um, uh, will give you a varied uh, uh, type in your garden if you want to plant something unusual. So the first uh, type of tulip that we uh, and I'm going to do this in the order that they, uh, that they open up. So with the double earlies, which is one of the first things that you'll see, the blossoms resemble uh, peonies. The stems are 8 to 12 inches tall, and this one is a very good variety for forcing. There are several colors in this uh, type, and uh, um, they uh, are the first to blossom. The second ones are the emperor tulips, which have very large petals, and they're the second ones that uh, bloom. They probably have the biggest uh, blossoms of any of the tulips. Um, they're also good for forcing and for perennializing. Some of the bulbs do better for perennializing than others. The next one are the Triumph Tulips, and it's a cross between the single earlies and many of the other varieties, and it seems like there are probably more Triumph Tulip varieties than any of the other. We can see that there are three different varieties we have on this cart that are Triumph Tulips, and they come in very uh, different colors, and actually some of them are bicolors. Uh, the Gregiar Tulips, or the Kaufmanniana Tulips, are uh, rock garden tulips. They have very short stems, but they have mottled leaves, and they um, uh, have a rich color, and they're excellent for rock gardens. The Darwin hybrids are another large class of tulips. In fact, the Darwin hybrids are the ones that we have in the bulk tulip bulbs, so you can buy as many as you want or as few as you want. Um, they're a cross between the emperor and uh, emperor tulips and many others. They have strong stems, bright colors, and they can also be used for forcing. The veritiflora, which we don't have an example of here, are tulips that have green markings in the blossoms, and they're very unusual. Um, we sell them in a mix, and they're, they also look really nice with other tulips around them. The next type of tulip that we have are the fringe tulips. The, the uh, petals are a little uh, uh, fringed and the tulip itself opens up uh, quite a bit. They're great in arrangements and uh, um, they, the t uh, petals reflex. The double late tulips are 
Again, uh, a late variety that has the peony type flowers. And uh, one of the, our most popular varieties is called Angelique. It has pink flowers. Then we go to the double lates, which are very much like the double earlies. There are a lot of different varieties that have a lot of color to them. And they're not very good for forcing. So that, those you'd stay away from as far as forcing. The parrot tulips have fringed, uh, fringed uh, petals uh, with strong stems and their unusual petal structure makes them uh, a very uh, nice uh, garden tulip. Single lates or the may flowering tulips are um, blue amiable is one of the most popular varieties. They're well known, they have large flowers and there are a lot of different colors with those and those are some of the late uh, blooming varieties. Rembrandt tulips have uh, different colors but have a lot of red flecking in them and uh, they also make a great bedding tulip. The last one that we have are the species tulips. They're usually very small. Um, they're probably uh, four to six inches high. They um, do very well in rock gardens. Uh, Tarda is uh, one of the species tulips and we have the blue star and lilac wonder. Um, there are about a half a dozen different uh, species tulips of families that uh, we sell uh, flowers from. So uh, with tulips you have a, a very large uh, uh, and diverse um, color and styles that will uh, warm up your uh, life when they start to blossom in the springtime. So uh, as far as the depth of planting you want to plant them depending on your soil type you have a sandy soil, you want to plant them even deeper, but uh, 8 to 10 inches deep in the type of soil that we have here in Randolph, which is a black soil. If a uh, sandy soil, you maybe want to go 10 to 12 inches. And if you have clay soil, uh, probably 6 to 8 inches is deep enough. So that wraps up our story of the tulips. For more information, you can visit one of our garden centers or get in contact with, with uh, info at jungseed.com. Uh, you'll never regret planting these beautiful flowers that come in spring. So, so from Randolph, this is Dick Zondag, Jung's garden doctor, uh, saying that uh, beautiful flowers in spring have to be planted in fall.